This is Finny TV and the Wasabi Overdose. Sushi bar plus wine. <coughs> to taste some wines with sushi, uh, and we have a plate of this uh, nice plate of different kind of sushis here. Nice selection of wines that we think that go well with sushi. Yeah, and after we've uh, refreshed our palates with the uh, kamigaze nigiris, uh, it's time to taste some wine. So first we have a green Weltliner from the man himself, Fred Loimer from Austria. So it should go really well with the sushi since it uh, has a nice acidic backbone and it's semi-aromatic variety the whole drink. And by the way, we do not recommend this, recommend doing this wasabi killer kamikaze. Well, you can do it. It's like uh, having a mentor. Kind of. <coughs> okay, so the first one. So this is the basic land wine of uh, Fred Loimer, a cool guy. Hello Fred, if you see this clip, big ups. Yeah, he's a biodynamic producer uh, in uh, Austria. It's Kampton. Yeah, I think it's Kampton. Think, yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Um, the basic level is actually pretty close to premium level when it comes to the Fred Loimer's wines. I think he's one of the most exciting producers in, in Austria at the moment, in my opinion. Sure. Terroir wines, for sure. Hmm. Next one. The first one, and then the second one, we're gonna go with the sparkling one. Yeah, this is Richview uh, Fitzrovia 2007, and uh, Richview, against all odds, comes from uh, UK. Yeah. So this is sparkling wine from UK, and actually Richview won a few months ago a big uh, award, the Gunter Wine Awards, uh, and beat a lot of famous champagne yeah. houses. It's made with champagne, great varieties with champagne methods, so uh, it's a real deal. Let's try it. Ah, nice full body taste with some interesting berry flavors combined with some vegetable sort of uh, flavors I'm getting. And it has these secondary aromas, it's not like a fruit bomb, it has like a little no. bit of kind of like... <laughs> See this? <laughs> interesting stuff. But the, the can you feel it? <laughs> yeah, I can. It's starting it's to make a difference here. <laughs> I still have a wasabi in my brains. Uh, okay, but now the third one. Now it's we're red. To the uh, kind of an extreme uh, level of sushi and wine comparison, because not many people like to compare red wine with sushi. But we think that uh, rules are meant to be broken. And if you pick the right red wine, you should be okay. So what we're here is uh, modern Rioja. Definitely modern Rioja, uh, made by David San Pedro, a very cool guy from Rioja. Uh, Ninety percent of Tempranillo, ten percent of Carnacha, Londoño. Let's see what it is. Should be good with salmon nigiri. Now, probably if you're used to tasting a lot of Riojas, this is not your typical kind of slightly oxidative Riojas, like the old school, like Gran Reserva style of Riojas. This is fresh and in, uh, intensive. You know, I wouldn't call it fruit forward since that sounds like a curse word, but it definitely has some freshness to it. Uh, you know, with the salmon nigiri, it's not the best combination in the world, but it goes. I, I can't even eat some sushi right now. My stomach is making a lot of noise. Probably after this, I'm gonna run straight to the bathroom. Yeah, that might be a good idea. But well, let's let's make it a wrap. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, if you like sushi, you definitely should try different kind of wines, not just white wines, sparkling wines, red wines, even, and see what you like. Because after all, tastes are different with every guy. So you should. Find your own. And if you're in Helsinki, Sushi Bar plus wine has a nice, really nice uh, wine. Wine is to go with the, some of the best sushi in town. Definitely. See you next time. See you next time. Bye bye.